Greetings to all learners. Myself, Sharda Devre, Associate Professor, Government College of Pharmacy, Amravati, welcomes you to the Lecture 12. That is a production of Aromatic Plant Essential Oil under the Week 3 Product Development, Value Addition and Entrepreneurship Startup Opportunities. So here we will learn uh, the various methods for the extraction of the volatile oil. Uh, volatile oil is also called as a essential oil because uh, it uh, um, shows the presence of the essence of the uh, components of that plants. It is also called as the aromatic oil because it has the specific type of the aromas. And due to this, there is a great demand in the market like in a perfume industry, in a cosmetic industry, in toiletry preparations and in various food and pharmaceutical preparations also. These volatile oils uh, are uh, or can be obtained from the distillation, fractionation and flourage equilibrium method which is also called as expression or mechanical uh, method. Then supercritical fluid uh, extraction method. Then in previous lecture we have learned phytonics that, are, that is also useful for the extraction of volatile oil. Under the distillation there is a evaporation and condensation that the principle it works and uh, the uh, distillation are of uh, three types water distillation steam distillation and water plus steam distillation this is the uh, diagrammatic representation of the water plus steam distillation here you can see that the steam uh, water is getting boiled and steam is passing through the plant material rupturing the cell walls and the oil glands oil is getting evaporated along with the water from the oil glands and then it is condensed and then collected in the uh, collection tube or collected into the container. So water distillation uh, is uh, more simple as compared to the steam distillation and then water and steam distillation is utilized for the complete uh, and exhaustive type of the extraction of the essential oils. Most of the plant materials that are used for the distillation are fresh and hence there is a requirement that after harvesting uh, there must be uh, presence of or facility of the distilleries nearby the uh, harvesting site or collection site of the aromatic plant material. Then uh, in uh, traditional uh, text uh, like Ayurveda, Siddha, Yunani, Homeopathy, generally the distillation assemblies are made up of the copper or they are made up of the clay. But nowadays at laboratory level, even at the commercial level, the glass assemblies are available for the distillation and or for commercial level, good stainless steel, uh, stainless steel metal machineries or distillation assemblies are available. The uh, fractionation is the advanced type of the distillation where the uh, condensation columns are modified to separate out the different boiling point constituents like that eugenol, cinnamaldehyde or menthol, menthone. So depending upon the boiling point, there are the separate, uh, separate outlets uh, for the separation of the constituents from the mixture of the essential oil. Next method is the enflurage which is useful for the delicate type of the aromas like the inflorences or flowers, roses, various types of jasmine, tuberose flowers. So that is suitable for that and it is uh, use uh, cold fat or hot warm fat, fatty material and uh, over this material, this is the tray on that in that tray the hot uh, uh, waxes hot fatty material or cold fatty material is poured and the layer of the inflorences or flower petals is spread on that and after 24 hours every 24 hour the layer of the flower or inflorences need to be replaced so this is until uh, the whole fatty material is get saturated with the essential oil and then after uh, separating out it with the uh, heating the oil is separated with the distillation and the fatty material is separated this is generally preferred for the delicate type of the aromatic uh, essential oils or uh, source material next it is the equilibrium expression or mechanical extraction method here the specific devices are available in a market for the laboratory scale level as well as for the industry scale level where um, this is generally preferred for the citrus fruits or citrus aroma uh, they, where this mixture of the water along with the essential oil 
due to the rupturing of the cell walls that are present nearby the rind of the uh, fruits due to the sharp points that are uh, um, means uh, that are to the uh, expression or mechanical device that are present on that this uh, mixture of the water plus essential oil is further separated by using the distillation assembly and then uh, further it is by the fractionation to separate out the different components of the essential oil mixture next it is the supercritical fluid extraction where uh, uh, gases which can be converted to the fluid especially the co2 which is used to convert it into the fluid at the supercritical point that is at a particular temperature and pressure and then uh, it is passed through the aromatic plant material which is then extracts the essential oil and uh, then to the separator uh, container the temperature and pressure uh, is again uh, regulated or back to the normal where the gas is uh, fluid is converted to the gas and gas is separate out and further this gas can be recycled so in this method we have uh, learned in a previous lecture that it is having advantage that there is a no solvent residue presence and there is no need of a further purification and in a phytonics also we have seen that we can use the various hydrofluorocarbon uh, solvents uh, and there various derivatives uh, to separate out the different type of the phytochemicals so these are the important essential oil extraction methods headspace is the one of the technology where uh, normal um, uh, low uh, low quantity essential oils are directly obtained from the nature means uh, the uh, suppose one type of the plastic container that is uh, inverted on the inflorescences or uh, uh, flower Uh, set and allow it to get heated under the sunlight and the vapors are generated and that are get collected into that uh, plastic container or plastic bag and this is generally useful to trap the small quantity and further utilized by the various analytical instruments like the gcms uh, to understand the quality which is uh, this headspace technology is not good for the uh, commercial level here it is the list of the aromatic plants which contains the monoterpenoid and sesquiterpenoid as a major constituents and they are having the different type of the biological activities like antimicrobial antioxidant insecticidal antiviral anti inflammatory analgesic anti cancer and other than that of these are also utilized as a confectionery or spices in a uh, food industry nutraceutical industry most of them are utilized in a perfume industry the perfume market is also Uh, having a lot demand of all these oils these oils are having the central nervous system stimulating effect also so due to that it is having anti stress effect most of these oils are immunomodulatory also they are having a drawback like that the essential oil content is very low like that most of the oils are having only 2% or 3% of the yield but like clove or other oils are having up to 50% uh, 15% of the yield clove oil is used, used specifically as a dental analgesic eucalyptus oil is a very good antimicrobial then garlic oil is utilized as uh, is good for the uh, cardiovascular system cinnamon oil is very good antioxidant and antimicrobial as well as immunomodulator lavender then musk uh, as well as the sandalwood then douna oil these are uh, very popular type of the volatile um, uh, oils in the perfume industry chinopodium oil is utilized as a vermicidal Uh, camphor it's utilized for the various indian rituals it is the part of our um, indian rituals so there is a lot of opportunities for the essential oil extraction related uh, startups or industry here you can see that the commercial uh, distillation uh, machinery that is utilized by the herbal industries aromatic oil for the aromatic oil production the extracted essential oils are actually the mixture of the 
number of constituents uh, even you know uh, one ml of oil there can be the presence of 40 50 monoterpenoids or sesquiterpenoids and that need to be analyzed uh, to get the exact idea of the uh, quantitative estimation of the each and every uh, constituent and uh, there are various analytical methods are available like that i have told you uh, like a headspace extraction headspace chromatography is also there and commonly utilized it is a gcms gas uh, chromatography and mass spectroscopy analysis is commonly useful uh, for the separation of the various chemical constituents and their identification then other simple analytical parameters are also mentioned in various pharmacopoeias to give the idea about the authenticity of the uh, particular oil so thus in this lecture 12 we have learned the production of the aromatic plant essential oil and we have seen that there is a uh, huge demand of these oils in different industries and they are uh, can, they can be incorporated easily they are utilized in from simple that is the aromatherapy uh, even up to the uh, insecticidal or anti-cancer antimicrobial uh, properties and learners should think about uh, the startups or uh, entrepreneurial uh, aspirations for uh, from the point of view of the essential oil extraction thank you